Hello everybody, Ken here. Welcome back to The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. We're going to jump back into File 3, our special save. We're going to start a new run with Isaac. We've unlocked everyone else, except for Samson. And uh, Isaac, we haven't beaten Mum's heart, so let's, let's give him a try. Now, I actually just recorded this episode, and we unlocked Samson, we beat Mum's heart. And... I was on the title screen and I was just wrapping up. I was just, you know, 20 seconds of thanks for watching and all that. And uh, power cut and lost all the data. Lost the save in Isaac. Lost the the video data as well because of the way I recorded. Now I've actually just changed, been through and changed the way the recording works. Which hopefully should stop me losing, at least losing the footage going forwards. But uh, that run's gone basically didn't exist and it's a shame it was quite a fun episode we didn't have that many special items we were using Bob's rotten head which is maybe an indication of just how things had gone that that was the item we were stuck with uh, we had the 9 volt we had poopy bombs but nothing really special but it was enough to get us through and this is a good item to start with the blood of the martyr and give us a nice damage up get us onto red tears already I like that we'd like to get some uh, Maybe some a bit more damage and maybe a tiny bit more speed. We had the the Liberty Cap that gives you a random effect, a random mushroom effect in each room. And I think that actually kind of didn't work out that well for us. Because it changes your speed. And honestly, I think that kind of caused me more problems than it solved. Because I, I just kept getting confused about uh, what speed I was travelling at. And I uh, sort of misdodged a lot of stuff. That maybe I shouldn't have uh, been hit by. Gotta watch out for this spider. He has a real, real dash to him, those spiders. We cleared them out. And we can get through and fight the boss. See what our first boss will be. But yeah, I hope you're having a fantastic day. Hope you're not having any uh, any serious problems like that. Oh man, Monstro's got some friends. I want to deal with them first. He's chundering across the room. Monstro's... A good old, uh, good old faithful. Like at this point, like he's. I just, I have a lot of nostalgia for Monstro because he's been here since the start. Just doing work. He's one of the bosses that's always there. Like you don't have to unlock him. You don't have to do anything weird to find him. He just hangs out. You know, he's just a bud. Just doing stuff. Just getting, getting work done. Just hopping around after you. Having these like arc tears that I've never been able to predict very well. And uh, squelching up and dying at the end. Always a good time. We got the, uh, the heels looking pretty stylish here. Strutting around the room. Yeah, go Isaac. Fantastic. Okay, down to the next floor. But yeah, it's a real shame that that, that episode never sees, will never see the light of day. But I've kept the file, but uh, I don't think there's any way I'm going to be able to recover it. And honestly, like given that it didn't save anyway, it's probably for the best. Um, it would have been a fun one just to put up. Like the lost episode. But we'd still have had to re-unlock Samson. Because that save wouldn't have synced. And uh, yeah. We'll move on. We'll, uh, we'll clean this out. Whoa, a lot of hoppers in here. Got to be careful of this. And also these little spitty guys are going to cause us trouble. Prioritising enemies is always, is always tough in Isaac. You know, do you go for the ones that are moving around a lot more? Or do you try and take out these guys that are spitting random bullets out? It's a little bit harder to predict where the damage is going to come from them because they can shoot in any direction. Got loads of keys. Get in the item room. Ooh, the $3 bill. An interesting one. Changes our tier effect on every room. So I don't think we'll see this come into play until next next room, but it could be pretty fun. Sometimes you can uh, get really screwed over by it, but uh, I think in general it's a, an interesting one to have. I don't like this room full of spiders. I'd love a bit more speed. So yeah, we had the uh, we had the liberty cap last time, and that that caused us some problems because of the changing speed. But at least we had a bit more speed than we do now to start with. So hopefully we get some items that let us crank that up a little bit. Let's see what's in here. Have a little poke. Ooh, we got nice. Uh... Now actually, what we did have last time is we had these golden brown tears because we picked up number one. And we had the fear shot, which I can't remember the name of, which we got from a devil deal. That was pretty fun. Okay, let's see who our boss is. 
Larry Jr. This was actually a boss we faced. It's a tough one. And uh, as I was saying last time, it's, Larry Jr. is, is kind of like fighting uh, Sloth or fighting um, really anyone that summons guys. Where you kind of want to... Oh. Well, there's our damage gone. You kind of want to deal with the poop. You don't want to leave all that poop lying around. Yeah, it's important to clean up after yourself. It's important to uh, you know, clean up your poop. Don't leave your poop on the floor. Because that's just going to... Don't leave other people's poop on the floor either. If someone's pooping on your floor, clean that poop up. Because inevitably, when they're chasing you down later, it's uh, you're going to slip on that poop and it's going to hurt you. And if that's not a good life lesson from my Isaac, then I, I honestly don't know what is. So, we get the, the pageant baby. It's an okay thing to have. Sadly, no no Samson unlock, but there's always the next floors. And we don't actually have to do it on the first two floors. You know, that's how you get Basement Boy. But we've got Basement Boy. I think that achievement, uh, you know, it pops on Steam. That, that doesn't go away. Although, maybe there's an unlock tied to it. Now, this is Spirit of the Night, which is Flying and Spectral Tears. Do I want that? It's quite a nice thing to have. Let's grab it. Why not? See how it goes. It does leave us a little bit fragile on the health situation, but it also means we can kind of hide over walls, hide over rocks. Uh, we can do stuff like this. We can just hang out over here. And uh, well, it looks like we get a fear shot as well. I wonder if they added that to Spirit of the Night. Because obviously fear shots weren't in the original game anyway. See, we'd be trapped in this little corridor. Now, you want to chase us? You can't, because we're over here. This is where Spirit of the Night is going to be real handy for us. And you can see we've got these spectral tears. They're kind of slightly translucent. Which means we'll be able to shoot over rocks. It's a real nice combination to have with flying. Got quite a decent bit of money now. In fact, especially so now. So we could perhaps... We're one, one coin away from getting a, a decent item out of the shop. Well, getting an item out of the shop. No, uh, no promises on the quality. Also, this seems to have given us a bit more speed. I think you just get more speed when you're flying. We can hide behind here. This guy can't hit us. We can take him out. There we go. We pop in the shop. I guess there's no real reason not to. The piggy bank. Uh, I don't actually remember exactly how this functions, but we grab it. I mean, it's cheap. My life savings. And uh, we actually... I think we got a couple of coins out of that. Now, I... I don't remember quite how it works. Whether it gives you money when you get hit, or if it gives you money when you do some things, or whether you can put money into it and do something with it later. I really I should look up <clears throat> look it up. But we'll we'll go with it for now. I think I should have a sip of water. Hmm. <clears throat> Lovely. Okay, that's much better. Right. We'll watch out for these guys. Ah, we've got uh, triple tiers too. Thanks. Thanks to the old uh, rainbow $3 bill. And there you go. So we can fly, so we can just wander over here. Nothing particularly good in there. Have we been to the item room on this floor yet? No, we haven't. Okay. We've got loads of um, loads of consumables. Bombs, keys. A little, little, little bit of spare change as well. I kind of love a... Um, I'd love a, well, I'd love a bit more damage, actually. Or, or maybe, ideally, a bit more shot speed. But, um, in lieu of that, oh wow, the, the scythe effect, that's kind of fun. That might be a good one to, uh, to roll this with then. Look at this. They're really quite big tiers, the scythe tiers. I do want to definitely grab that item. You see, we're not doing that much damage. It's taking a while to kind of take these guys out. Oh, and he's got a the charging Larry Jr. He's done us a bit of a disservice there, but we made it through nonetheless. We can uh, grab Tammy's head, which uh, should be pretty fun on this room, actually. I kind of want to see what it looks like. Whoa, so you see it shoots out a big version of all your current tiers around you. And you get it once per room. We're going to take this guy out quick. In fact, we don't have to take this guy out quickly. We can just hide over this. Hide over this gap. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Nothing. 
There's literally nothing you can do. I'm very cautious of the way these tears arc. That I'm just going to hit them. That I'm just going to kind of get clipped by one of them slightly. I just want to... I guess I can just take the poop out from here. Oof. Nabbed it. We'll go around the outside. Always good to be safe. And, uh... Mr. Mega, which gives us more blast damage. Oh, wow. Tear effect's pretty cool in here. I wonder if that's the number one effect. Yeah, we had number one last time. Along with the fear shot. And it gave us this lovely golden brown tears. And sadly... You'll never get to see those. Well, you may do. I guess. There's always a chance. Isaac, um... Isaac loves to throw up random stuff and sometimes you'll see something come up for... Sometimes you'll see certain combinations come up again. There's every chance that you'll never see a certain combination. Now we're gonna... I'm gonna save Tammy's head for when there's more stuff going on here because this is the husk. And he's gonna have a load of stuff on screen. Boom! Okay, that did actually do a lot of damage. Maybe we should have just used it off the bat. We got Mum's underwear. A bit more range. Always good. Shoot right across the room. Fantastic. Oh! No toilet paper. Always the worst when there's no toilet paper. Ugh. I, probably my least favourite enemies. I had so much trouble with these in the last episode. Which hopefully, you know, helped to teach me how to deal with them. The problem is, I realised the problem is that you have to get close to them for them to pop up. And as soon as they pop up, like, you need to get real far away because you can't dodge their shot when you're... You can't dodge their triple shot if you're close to them. So I think we can kind of just get in here and back off. And this red guy will just be able to hit anyway. So maybe we should just clean him out. There we go. Lovely. We did it. That was a little bit more successful than my encounters with those guys improved. A lot of sight effects. A lot of doing this a lot. Which is interesting because it's not an effect we've encountered in the base game yet. But man, it's pretty fun. We should use Tammy's head every room. There's not really any good reason not to. Wow, look at that. Scythe again. I just cleaned the room out. And that's kind of the nice thing about Tammy's head is if your tears get really good, it can be an incredible item. You should get in. You pop it. Looks like we've got the uh, the kind of returning tears. We can just stand here and take these guys out. Nothing they can do. The beauty of flight. Whoa, I really want to deal with this guy first. Because I know I can. Oh, he's not going to shoot at this because he's feared. We've got the old fear tears. Whoa, easy does it. Whoa, and there we go. Tammy's head doing work again. We've got loads of money. We can pop into the arcade. Might be worth uh, spending some time. Drop a few, few little coins. Meet strangers without prejudice. I mean, that's a good idea. I agree with that. You should always uh, avoid prejudice. Ooh, that's quite a nice item too. The crystal ball. Gonna give you a random thing every time you use it. We got the two of clubs. Just gonna double our bombs. I don't think we want that over Tammy's head though. Tammy's head's such a good item. Especially if you build your tears up a bit. Which we should get a chance to do. We're taking a lot of damage though. I need to be more careful. I'm real upset about not getting Samson. Real upset. But uh, you know, that's the way of things. Well, I'm, I'm less upset about not getting Samson so much as that I got Samson and now I don't have Samson. Probably worth us going in the curse room because we won't take damage on the way in anyway. I ought to be careful doing that because sometimes when there's enemies in there you can't just leave. And I always try and just leave. And it's not necessarily always an option. Just clean these guys out. Lovely. I'll abuse the mechanics. Just try me game. Got loads of coins here. Ah, oh, it's not as good when you don't have massive scythes. It's actually a really good demonstration of how Tammy's head can be incredible or kind of mediocre depending on 
how your tears are doing at the time. And the bigger and beefier our tears become, the the easier it's going to be to do great things with Tammy's head. I can kind of get this guy to chase us down. Look at the size of these massive bombs. Boom. It does a ton of damage when you get him to swallow a Mr. Mega Bomb. And here's Pete. Oh man, these tears. These tears are... What tears are these? They just disappear after a second. I wonder we're not doing any damage. Ugh. Oh. I'm getting him bomb him because... Crikey, we need to do something. This is just uh, too low damage otherwise. Whoa, easy does it. Easy does it. Oh, he moved. He moved at just the wrong time. Aha! What a fool. Straight into my bomb. And we get the red patch. Which uh, gives us a rage effect, I think. And that's kind of what it implied. Ooh, I like these green tears. I'm not quite sure what they're for. They're very pretty. That much is for sure. Very, very cautious of the bomb flies, as ever. Oh, I just want these tear effects all day. Look at them. Very luminescent. I'm a big fan of that. Clean out the poop. We can go into the secret room. Sure. Let's get in there now. Seems like a good a time as any. I think it was actually already open. Ooh, the double tears. The 2020 effect. Very nice. And uh, here's the, the old My Reflection again. I think, it, I think it's My Reflection. God, look at all these dudes. So many dudes. Got a few hits in there with the... I didn't really... Want, you can sometimes just dive into the middle of them. But uh, it's a bit of a risky strategy. I didn't really fancy it. I'll take as little damage as possible. I mean, that's always a good idea, even if you're not trying to unlock Samson. Just good practice to not take too much damage. The remote's okay. Is it worth 15 coins? I mean, we've got a lot of coins. It's kind of like buying five bombs. That might actually be worthwhile. Even though we don't use it very often. Quite a nice item to have. And you uh, lets you... You don't know what it does. It basically, you every time you put a bomb down, it won't blow up until you hit the item. Man, this is the doctor's remote. I don't really want the doctor's remote. Too many, too many rechargeable items at the moment. Definitely don't want those. I, apparently, we did reveal the map at some point. I'm not quite sure how. But something revealed the map. Easy does it. That guy might have been a champion. He was kind of dark, dark coloured. Got ourselves another key. Always good. And we've unlocked our boss room. It's mega fatty. Take that, mega fatty. Oh, you don't care? I suppose I shouldn't really be too surprised. Have a bomb. I'm going to try and make more use of bombs. I don't do that very often. Got to be real careful when this guy jumps. Spits out his big chocolate milk. He's dropped a couple of poops on the floor. A couple of little dingles. Easy does it. I just like to circle around when that thing happens. Man, he jumps so quickly. Aha, right onto the bomb, you sucker. I'd like a mega bomb, mega fatty. We got ourselves some roid rage. That's real good, actually. A little bit more speed and some more damage. That's kind of ideal. Okay, I'd love more damage. I'd kind of love a bigger tier effect to synergize with Tammy's head. You know, something like Polyphemus, maybe, that's going to give us a, a larger overall tier. We're okay to go over the creep because we have flying. But we still don't want to get cornered in by these things. I've got to remember to use Tammy's head because there's never, there's never a reason not to use it on a room. Because it does always recharge. Squelch these guys. Lovely stuff. Do we that two of clubs? It might be worth using sometime soon before we start spamming bombs. Maybe I'll try and remember to use it if I get any bombs anytime soon. We've got the lovely green effect back. It seems to be some kind of toxic tear. Oh, this must be... There's an item that looks a little bit like a green test tube. I think it must be that. Let's use it now while well, we've got 11 bombs. Seems like a good a time as any. 
Good, uh, good Tammy's head. Cleaned out a little bit of trouble for us. Still kind of in a rough situation here. I do not like these screaming babies. I mean, no one likes it when a baby's screaming. At least of all the baby, I suspect, because it usually means they're unhappy about something. Yeah, unless they're just screaming for fun. You know, sometimes you go, sometimes you just want to do that. Sometimes you just want to have a little scream, and that's okay. It's all right to have a little scream sometimes. But uh, when you're a baby, sometimes is a lot of the time. Okay, let's uh, try and lure this guy over here. There we go, he's charging us down. He's gonna charge us down again. You can kind of see them pick up speed on that. They do go a little bit faster. Lovely, and we got another bomb. Would have been maybe even worth saving our two of clubs, but... Uh, I decided like I might want to use bombs on that room, depending on what came out, so... We got to use Tammy's head again. Not too much of a problem. Oh, I want to deal with these guys before they start. We're on the depths now. So we've got to be real careful of all that kind of nonsense. Oh, I was going to say, you've got to be careful of the way the, these guys shoot out there. Shoot out tears upon death, so you have to watch out for that. And they don't shoot them out directly as well. They shoot them out at sort of a hexagonal uh, angle. Or in a hexagonal pattern. Which is kind of awkward to dodge. So you want to make sure you've got a bit of distance from them. So you can clear them out easily. Get above these uh, holes in the ground. Then just stand still and take the hit, you know. Oh, I don't like this tear effect one bit. Oh. What is this tear effect? It's ridiculous. I don't know. I, I, I'm honestly not sure what that tear effect is, but I don't like it one bit. Tommy said it does leave you a little bit vulnerable because you kind of throw the head up and don't do anything with it for a bit. So that's something you got to watch out for. But uh, we're, we're making okay progress. We could definitely do with some more health. Or maybe some kind of protection. We can get over here. Look at these lovely flaming tears. These guys don't even keep moving because they don't know what to do. I love like an all stats up. I think we got Capricorn at the start of our... Uh, of our... Forgotten run. Ooh, there we go. Speaking of flaming tears. Pyromaniacs. Which is great because... Uh, I think this is the one where Mum's Stomp can't hurt you and explosions heal you. So, what we'd really like to do is get some more red hearts because that synergizes really well with this whole look. It would, uh, a couple more red hearts would, would really help us here. I mean, just in general, but specifically because they would allow us to heal up by using bombs. It also means we can't hurt ourselves with bombs, so we can be kind of a little bit more crazy with how we use them. Which can be pretty fun. I'm going to look for the secret room. Could come in handy. It's two bombs. Good stuff. Okay, well, let's uh, let's have another peek for the, the alternate secret room. Could be up here. Could be one of these sides of the room. No joy? Okay, well then it's maybe down down at the bottom. Down here, anybody? No? What about here? This seems like the last possible. Unless it's off the side of one of the... I guess it must be off the side of one of these extraneous rooms then. Maybe there's just even more rooms down here that we haven't seen yet. Oof. Good old bum holes. Oh, the frozen tear effect. That's quite nice. They got a couple of them. Always good. I don't like the leapers, these guys. They're real dangerous when they come down. Especially if there's multiples of them. If there's just one or two, they're not quite so bad. But I think they do always... They come down exactly where you were standing when they leapt up, I think. Or very close to it. That's usually their target. There we go. We made it. Made it through. We can go in here and... Do we want to spend our money on this 
on this card pack. I mean, it's seven cents and we can hold extra cards. So it's good. The, the world effect that's going to let us see the map. That might be worth saving for the next the next floor. If we make it there. Oh no, this is not this is not the room to have this effect on. Please don't hurt us, Mr. Haunt. It's real hard actually, because like, you can't tell whose tears are whose. Like, because my tears look so similar to the enemy tears at the moment. Ooh. Kinda nice. Give us something big in this in this chest. Um What's the bomb effect? There we go. Boop. Nope, nothing nothing doing there. Okay, what's uh, what about down here? Oh, there we go. There's our super duper secret room. This could be pretty good for us. I think we're actually going to go through this, even though we could have spent that on an item on the next floor. I think. Yeah, we're still on depth one. Could have spent it on an item on the next floor, but we'll gamble and see what we get. That's fantastic. That's just what I wanted. Lovely spirit heart. Oh, and cancer. Fantastic. Always a trinket I'm happy to take. Look at that tear rate. I think that's definitely better than rage. It's more consistent from the start. Anything else? The lovers. I mean, that's just some hearts. Not especially helpful. What's up here then? Let's go on. Let's have a look. Show me your wares. Ugh. Hey, they can just jump onto the... You can't do that. You can't jump onto... Like, empty uh, empty parts of the room. Seems completely unfair. I think the trick with these guys is you have to move diagonally. Because if you try and, like, avoid them to left and right, obviously you get hit by their... Their slam down tear effect. Which is no good. Got another coin. We can go back to that machine and see if anything's going on. I'm always tempted to bomb for some more hearts, but I think maybe that's a little bit excessive. Okay. Let's just give this the beans. Got a couple of coins. Would have been nice to put those in the machine, but sadly it's uh, not there anymore for some reason. Okay, Monstro 2, always a little bit risky. Hopefully we can get him to laser us over and over. So uh, something you used to be able to do more reliably pre-rebirth. These days, he's uh, less inclined to do it. And in fact, that makes the laser more dangerous because when you're not expecting it every time, it can be a little bit more threatening when it does come out. There we go, there it is. The big old laser. And th these uh, these flies are obviously quite dangerous too, because they uh, they'll drop out stuff. Or they'll drop out their little tear effects when they die. You got to watch out for them. Good old monstro too. I kind of give him a bomb or two. That's kind of dangerous. There we go. Gets rid of some of the flies too. Always nice to do. Ah, oh. I mean that got rid of the flies, but it didn't necessarily do anything else. There we go, a nice bomb for you, monstro. Almost dealt with him. There we go, we did it. Boom, and a deal with the devil. Synth oil damage and range up. That's pretty good. Do we want to take the headless baby and have no health? No, I don't think so. I think if anything, we want more health. What's our Alternate card, the world card. Well, we can use that on the next floor. So let's head down, I guess. Shame we still don't have any health. But maybe we'll just have so much stuff that it won't matter. There's our world card. Right, let's head down to our item room. Off the bat. Feels like the right thing to do. Take out these guys as quickly as possible before they start charging at us. Thanks to the double tier effect, it's going to make our lives a little bit easier. Strength, going to give us an extra heart for the room and a bit more damage. 
This is great because we can open this and blow up those two blue flames. Sadly, the blue flames didn't drop us anything. We do get a golden poop, which is always much appreciated. Gotta love the golden poop. A bit more money is always welcome. Okay, interesting. Yeah, well, let's go into the item room. Some more bombs. I mean, that's okay. I don't feel like we necessarily need more bombs. Like we're in a okay place for, for for bombs. We don't really need to go in to unlock that. Doesn't matter if we do by accident, but. Oh, there we go. There's a the old spirit heart. That's good. That's what we want. More of those, please. Uh, should we drop our cards over here for now so we can... Which one's which? Is this the lovers? I bet it's... Yeah. I don't actually really want the lovers. So let's drop the lovers over here. And then let's take the card. Well, let's take this card first and see what it is. It's the fool. We don't really want that either. So let's drop it down. We'll grab strength. I definitely do want strength. So let's head on and um, I guess the next port of call is up towards up towards the boss fight we have to steer clear back here and avoid these bonies oh bony M's we blow up some skulls we got loads of bombs see if we get anything nice out of them we got a card we go we made a dude it's, uh, a heal a healing item, which uh, again, not especially. So I'm going to use our strength card here to fight double pin. Oh my gosh! Oh, I thought that was from the pin effect. There's actually our tears from the reflection. If we can get hits with this thing, it does a lot of damage, but they're just quite hard to actually hit um, because of the way they fling around. Hopefully, he'll just jump into all of them. Being able to fly is definitely very, very nice, though. It definitely comes very much in handy on a fight like this. Sadly, we're not going to keep that, that extra red heart. It's going to go away now. But what can you do, eh? Maybe get another card. The devil. A bit more power for the room. Might be quite nice against the boss. A key. Not much help, really. But we'll take it. Coin for a coin seems fair. We don't want fair. We want we want something that's going to benefit us in the long term. Come on, what do we got for us? Give me the money. Nope. Okay. We can definitely clean this room out. Gotta be real careful of these guys though. Okay. Trying to maintain. A semi-careful approach to this thing. Not just clean stuff out willy-nilly because that's uh, an easy way to run into trouble. We still ran into some trouble there. In fact, we haven't used our Tammy's head. It's always uh, something you've got to keep an eye on. For some reason, I find it... Well, because when you can't... I think it's... I never have a problem using Guppy's head because it's when the room's clear. But with Tammy's head... You don't run into a room thinking, oh, I need to use an item. The Magician. I mean, that's not a super great item, but it's okay. Might be kind of useful to take into the boss fight. Jar of Hearts. Can be kind of nice. We don't have the money for it anyway, so... I guess it's not going to be super nice. This Is this two? It is. Oh, we might as well just drop off our money then. Don't have anything else to do with it. We're gonna take the devil and the magician into the uh, into the mum fight. I guess we are. Presuming we make it out of this room, of course, which is uh, certainly no guarantee. These guys do a lot of damage. I feel like we just don't have enough damage right now for how little health we have. It's gonna to be tough. Hopefully. Mum's heart will will kind of counteract that somewhat.
Oh, of course, Mum's heart stomp isn't going to hurt us. And in fact, I think it will actually technically heal us. Because of the way the explosive damage works. So that's good. So we don't need to worry about avoiding that too much. But we do have to worry about avoiding average enemies. It's been a very sad time, really. So instead of unlocking Samson and beating Mum's heart, we died fighting Mum's foot. But that's Binding of Isaac. And uh, I hope you've enjoyed the episode nevertheless. And if you have, be sure to pop that like button, subscribe to the channel. Hopefully next time, we'll have a bit more luck. I feel like we had like a good run of luck last time and it was counteracted by the, the ultimate lacking of luck. Which is um, the recording crashing. But that's going to bring us to the end of the episode. I've been Ken. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day and I'll catch you next time. Cheers!